For decades, a Lincoln nonprofit has opened its doors to help homeless and at risk teens foster kids. And very soon, a new program at Cedars will mean a new beginning for pregnant and parenting teens. 1011 Now's Isabella Benson learned all about what this new space has to offer and has this story. Cedars, a nonprofit that provides services to help kids experiencing homelessness, is now expanding their services to a more specific group. Jim Blue is the president of Cedars Home for Children. He told us he has seen a gap in serving teenagers who are pregnant or parenting. The programs at Cedars that are already in place for teens weren't able to provide the care for a pregnant teen or a young mom. Blue knew there needed to be a change. What we are trying to do is to prepare these kids over a short period of time to successfully move into the community. They will call it the Carriage House, and construction for this 7,000 square foot facility will begin in August. It will be built on Cedars campus at 66 and Pioneers with many amenities to assist these teens in need. Kitchen, um, washers and dryers, uh, an area for the kids to receive information on WIC and other community resources, certainly prenatal care, um, and parenting skills will be woven deeply into the fabric of the carriage house. Additionally, there will be apartments where these individuals can stay up to about 120 days or until they are ready to branch out into the community and live on their own. In total, it will cost about $3 million, paid for in part by a $1 million grant through the state of Nebraska. If we can give them a leg up and a path you know, that's for the positive and uh, not not be dependent on the state, be on their own. Anything we can do to help that is a benefit. Another chunk of the money is coming from Lancaster County. This is the kind of investment in our teens and our new parents that is really going to pay dividends for this community for a very long time. I formerly worked in child welfare and it, it, I can tell you from personal experience, the hardest thing to find a home for is a baby with a baby. To get the rest of the money to build, they are actively fundraising but staff tell me they are hopeful they will reach their goal by August, just in time to start the building process. That was Isabella Benson reporting. The Carriage House will only be available for teens ages 13 through 19, and we know it will have four one-bedroom apartments and two two-bedroom units. Staff at Cedars tells us there is already a waiting list.